days. Good God, it's been long. Well, <laughs> to you guys, it hasn't been that long, but I haven't actually sat down and, rec and recorded in like a real long time. I think since like late October, I haven't actually recorded, so there are some updates. Ooh, this camera's gonna annoy me all day. This is, <laughs> see, well, that, there's an update for you. One of the reasons that I tend to record down in the living room, just in front of my like boring ass sofa, lately is because like as much as I prefer the bedroom in terms of like this is kind of pretty and like you know my the backdrop with my bed with the window that's kind of pretty but it just causes so many issues with cameras and stuff like because my whole room is black I tend to just blend into the background and then there's just a glowing white face and nothing else and it really badly messes with the camera's like autofocus and like it's light adjustment and ISO and stuff because like it's trying to compensate for, for my face, so it makes everything else super dark, so it's just black void, and then when I move, it tends to like, buggers it up all over the place. Which is why I am so badly desperate to get my own little studio area sorted. Unfortunately, there haven't been any updates on that whatsoever at all, uh, but that's because I like have barely been home since the end of October. Uh, so yeah, there has been a lot of traveling. If you don't follow me on social media, then you might not know, which is why you should. Um, I did post a video saying I was going to LA. I remember that much. I definitely told everyone I was going to LA and I was there for two weeks and it was super, super fun. Um, I'm, going to, I'm, I'm gonna try to put together some sort of vlog out of that time. But, like, I make no promises because I, I don't know what I'm doing with it. I just, I ended up not really vlogging while I was out there because it was just, all very new and like high stress and I was like, Joe, I'm just gonna let Jake take videos and then I will do like a talkie vlog and I can use that footage to kind of, you know, illustrate my story more. Uh, but there was that. And then we were home for, I think, exactly one week. Uh, didn't even really get time to unpack or anything. And then we were straight off again. Uh, and this time we went to Japan and then Korea. There's been a lot of confusion. People thought that I was in Korea because I mentioned like a while ago I might be going to South Korea for uh, plastic surgery and people thought that's what this trip was and it wasn't at all. It was something just that kind of came out of the blue that's completely unrelated. So I was in South Korea, but as you can probably tell, <laughs> uh, nothing has changed. So if anything, I've come back fatter rather than thinner because between LA and Japan and Korea, there was just so much food. So <laughs> I need to get my butt back to the gym now that we're finally home. <laughs> So yeah, we were in Japan and Korea. There are definitely gonna be vlogs of that. I just need to sort them out. Um, I've been working on getting all the photos and stuff up as well. Cause like my mum complained that I did like barely took any pictures in America, which fair enough, I didn't. I hardly took any. I was like, oops. Uh, so when we got to Japan and Korea, I was like, I'm gonna take all the pictures. <laughs> Um, which, like, I mean, it's good because I have lots to look back on, but oh my goodness, it was a mistake for my sanity because trying to sort through the pictures has been, like, bad. But, um, I finally managed to upload all of the pictures from South Korea. They are now on my Facebook. Um, if you search Kaya Lily, I should be pretty easy to find, or it's, like, facebook.com forward slash x dot toxic tears, and you can find me that way. So if you want to see all my Korea pictures, there's that. And I'm going to be working on the Japan ones over the next couple of days so I can get those up as well. But yeah, it was just like super fun, super amazing. More on that in the actual vlogs about that. But uh, yeah, so we were in, the whole trip was a week. I think we only got two days in Japan and then three in Korea. And my God, they were packed out. Like we did so much in that time. Um, people also were asking me, I'll, like, I'll explain it more whenever I do that feel, but people were asking me like, how we planned it and how we organized it. And, like, did we use this? Did we use that? Um, which, like, no. <laughs> I didn't do anything for this trip. This was actually something that the uh, tourism boards out there flew us out for um, so that we can do videos and stuff, which is super cool. So I had, like, no part in anything. I was, like, sent details for a plane ticket and told to show up. That, <laughs> that was my involvement in it all. Um, and it was amazing. Like, they took such good care of us. They brought us to so many awesome places. It was literally the best experience of my entire life. Like, hands down, just amazing. So, yeah, I can't wait to show you more of that. But definitely check out my Facebook for that. Or if you're, like, super impatient, uh, Jake already has all the vlogs from the trip up because he's much faster than me. <laughs> so if you want to see his vlogs of all the stuff we got up to before I do mine, you can go over to his channel and check it out. I think he's, like, linked on my profile, but I'll also link him down below in the description, so... Well, it's back to the studio then, so I got, I got off tangent on that. Um, so because we've, like I've been home for no time at all <laughs> since, like, in the space of November, um, nothing has progressed with that. I'm going to, I don't know if I'm gonna start making moves, because basically I can't do anything until I get more confirmation from my landlord. 
um, which is like why it's taking a bit longer and stuff. So I don't know if I'm gonna start pursuing that again like now or if I'm just gonna wait until after Christmas before I like get him out and start looking into it more because he has to check lots of things like insurance and stuff because like he has to make sure like it, it is like the floor is very stable up there. I mean, I'm pretty sure the attic floor is more stable than the floors in the bedrooms weirdly but uh he has to have someone come out and double check that just you know because if like if we fell through the, the floor and died then <laughs> that would be an insurance nightmare for them so he has to double check everything's safe and obviously i'm sure they don't want us to die but you know <laughs> you know what i mean so uh yeah i haven't decided whether to sort of start pursuing that again like right now or maybe just leave it until after christmas because i don't want to be a bother but at the same time i really want my own space um, just like a nice open space that's always set up and ready to record. You don't understand how much I create because like I'm so pumped to be recording videos again. Like I'm so excited. I'm loving this. I love recording videos, but I hate literally everything leading up to it. It's like it's quite late in the evening. I've been trying to get sorted for this all day because like you have to like you know like from being away and like unpacking suitcases the house is quite messy so you have to like clean and clear the space and you have to get all the equipment from the other rooms and the equipment gets stuck on things and wires get tangled and that makes me so <laughs> little things like that make me so irrationally angry i can go from like happy and calm and nice to like screeching and punching things in like five seconds because of things like that it drives me crazy so i'm trying to move equipment around set the equipment up get everything ready, then getting ready myself and like trying to make myself look presentable and then finally sitting down and then once you do it, all the equipment, like another reason I don't record in my bedroom is because I have such a small space to work with. So like now that I'm sitting down recording, I can't leave this room until I'm done because it's blocked by many tripods and lights and things. So I'm trapped here until I'm done. So, and, and yeah, and then try to make myself look decent and it's such a... So if I could wipe out like most of that and then all I have to do is like get ready and record, oh my God. I would, I would record so much more, I'd have a better time, plus I want the attic where I'll have like a little desk to work and just the thought of that has me pumped. So yeah, I really want that done. And then also like, cause my plan for my recording space, I've like, I've been trying to like roughly Photoshop a picture of what I want, like my little recording area to look like, I'll, I'll, I'll put it here, but it's ugly and bad because I don't have the proper, like I don't have actual pictures of the things I want because a lot of it's gonna be like thrifty antique store, or just like random, crap I find so I don't have like resources for it on the internet but like I'm trying to put, like you know a rough layout so I want to have the wall behind me like a nice light grey so it's still like you know a little bit pretty but like I will I won't blend into the background I'll actually stand out and you'll be able to see me and that'll be exciting and my camera won't throw off it so yeah like a nice light grey so I stand out and then I want to get like fake ivy and make it look like it's growing up the wall behind me because I think that'd be really pretty and I just I love sort of Ugh, the feel that plants give to a room so even if it's fake I feel like that'd be really nice and I want like lots of like pretty picture frames with like kind of like creepy weird art inside them like things like this and stuff you know where it's like beautiful but also kind of weird um oh people always ask me about this and I have told people in a video before I don't remember which one but I know I'll get asked again in this video because I've pointed it out so I'll put a link to that below it's this is actually a scarf uh but I got it to use as a wall hanging because I mean as a scarf you ain't gotta see it but scarves are like 10 times cheaper than actual like wall tapestries. So this is from like, I think it was either Red Bum Bubble Bumble Bumble? Either Red Bubble or Society Six. I wanna say Red Bubble, but I will link it anyway. And yeah, it's actually a scarf, but I just pinned it up on my wall and it's pretty. What was I talking about? Yes, picture frames. Lots of like, you know, old pretty picture frames with like weird art in them and like, you know, like mounted skulls and like dried bunches of flowers and just like, you know, nice things like that all over the walls behind me. And then I wanna get like two little sort of sconce like pretty antique like ornate shelves on either side to put like you know like maybe a little plant and like a candle and like a little taxidermy or something like that and like you know skull or something just like all the sort of things i like to make a really lovely recording background and uh, the thing i want up there is actually like it's like a day bed so it's set up like a sofa but you can pull out into a bed which means if we have guests over then that can double it's like the guest room up there which would be awesome thing is I really want all of that so I can like just always be ready to record and edit and just like pump out loads of videos like I'm so hyped for that but it's just whenever I'm working with a very small cluttered space that I also have to live in and then the, the equipment has to be dragged all over the house. Especially in winter because you guys know the winter blues tend to get me quite bad so I end up just in a like awfully depressive state all day where just everything seems awful or I'm just like super lethargic and that makes it 10 times harder to do anything so funny against that sucks but yeah I'm feeling good now just sitting down talking to you guys I don't know what other updates have we got oh in terms of fashion so like the last all the like recent videos you've seen like that big recording session I did before going away I was like super into like a pink mode everything had to be pink and cute and stuff and I was loving that 
Um, whenever we got back to Ireland, I think like, cause we came back from LA, which is like sunny, 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 back into Ireland when it was like dreary and cold and wintry. And I think that kind of like sparked off my neck. Cause you guys know I go through like, oh my God, that's something I have to talk about actually. I'm going to do a whole video on all the people who throw a fit every time I wear pink. And it's like, oh my God, you've changed. And it's like, oh my God, this is, this is not new. I do this all the time. But then that's a whole video in itself. Cause like rant for day makes me so mad. But um, I think I ranted on Instagram about it anyway. So there's that, but uh, yeah. Yeah, so I was super into pink mode, but I think coming back kind of like kickstarted my next kind of like fashion obsession and I'm kind of back into somewhat witchy fashion right now so sort of like Strega, Dark Mori, you know just witchy witchy woods nature and stuff like that so that's what I'm feeling at the minute if anyone's wondering in terms of my hair like I don't know what to do with it at the minute it looks awful at the minute because like <laughs> I like re-bleached it um before we went to camera I re-bleached it before we went away to Japan um Japan Korea Japan went to Japan first so before we went to Japan I re-bleached it with the intention of dyeing it pink again but then I wasn't in a super pink mood, so I didn't really know what to do with it, and I just left it, so it's been blonde for a while, but now, like, the roots are growing through, so it's kind of ugly. I don't know if I want to dye it another colour now, or if I just want to shave it off again for a while, and then I can, like, regrow it and dye it again the next time I'm in a pink mood, or what I want to do with it. But, uh, yeah, for anyone who didn't, I, no, you must have seen my videos, I had a pink undercut. I think I dyed it pink on like the 25th of October or something. So it was pink for a good while. It's been just unintentionally blonde for a couple of weeks and now I'm just kind of stuck and I don't know what to do with it. I might just shave it all off again, I don't know. For future videos um, for this month, I want to do a lot. I want to get like loads of videos on in December. I'm so determined, I'm hoping it, it goes to plan. I want to just like, I will be like spamming you guys with videos, so get ready. I have like, oh God, I don't even know. I feel like I have, I have like three clothing hauls, six different unboxings, at least like five vlogs, hopefully like two or more crafty videos and a partridge in a bloody pear tree. Basically, I have a lot that I need to get recorded and done. Um, also, the vlogs that I upload are probably gonna be quite out of order and all over the place. I still need to do like part two of Summer in the City. I still need to do the London Edge vlog. I have like a random vlog I did from just before we went to LA, which is like, you know, out of date now, but I wanna give it to you guys anyway. Like I go and get my hair done and we have a nice walk on the beach and I, I know people tend to love my like nature vlogs and stuff so I can't remember how much of it was nature but yeah there's like that vlog that needs to go up and I, of course try to do an LA vlog try to get the Japan and Korea vlogs done so yeah lots of vlogs to be done they're gonna be messy they're gonna be all over the place you've been warned we're all just gonna have to deal with that because I'm a messy all over the place person and you should all really be used to that by now I am a mess of a human being so we're just gonna have to live with that my moods and personality are always so conflicting like I'm always like so back and forth between like I just want to make everyone happy and not bother anyone and do what makes makes everyone feel better and just I don't want to be a bother and I want all my videos to be perfect for you guys and like fuck everyone I'll do what I want and enjoy myself so <laughs> it doesn't work out but yeah so loads loads of videos definitely some crafty ones planned just need to sort of try to do those it's especially hard because like I didn't realize that so many other places in the world have d very different daylight schedules to us um so like whenever we were in Korea it didn't get dark until like you know like six or seven I think like six half six seven around that time in LA it was like you know sort of around that as well at the minute in Belfast in Northern Ireland it's dark by like four o'clock half four in the afternoon and it doesn't start getting bright until like half eight or nine so we have like a very small <laughs> small small window of daylight right now which is why I get so miserable um but yeah so that makes it hard if I have like any sort of crafty videos where I need to do stuff outside which one of them I do but I got some of that film today so I'll just keep sort of using a little bit of daylight here and there when, where I can uh but yeah so that's <laughs> anything that requires that's another thing like try on videos for um clothes and stuff are super difficult at, in the winter because again not very much daylight and I have to do those outside and then my 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 schedule sometimes just messes up with that, but uh, yeah, I have clothing hauls. I have I'm gonna try to do some makeup videos if I can. You know, I just wanna give you guys as many videos as possible. I'm not gonna commit to vlogmas because I'm too unorganized for that. But you know, I'm just gonna put out as many videos as I possibly can in December. Hopefully that will be fun. Also, feel free to leave suggestions of anything that you want to see in December and January and such while I'm making my little video lists. I can't like guarantee everything, but I'll do what I can, so that would be helpful. And then the last thing is just a little chat about Patreon because like I try not to talk about it too much because then people get pissy, but like it is important to um, like me doing this, you know, like it's a lot of how I support myself and especially now, again, broken record with YouTube and everything it's been doing, they just, they keep finding new ways to like 
screw people. I think the most recent update I've seen was something about, I don't know, it's something to do with kids again. It's always like children that are ruining YouTube, honestly. <laughs> like not the kids themselves, but just like the fact that YouTube's catering too much for children when children shouldn't really be on YouTube in the first place. Like you have to be 13 and above to create a con an account and yet they're treating it like if something isn't suitable for a five-year-old, it's not allowed on YouTube and I'm like, that's very contradictory. So yeah, I don't know, but there's something recently anyway that's made it even harder and like all, like every single video that I upload, every one, every video that I upload now gets like, it'll be up and it'll be great. Like basically whenever it's in good, like, you know, advertiser standing, whatever, you have like a little green symbol and it'll go up and it'll be green for a little while. And then it goes yellow, which means not suitable for advertisers and you're not earning any money and it'll stay like that for ages. I'll, be, I'll have to go in and be like, um, you done fucked. There's nothing wrong with this video, please fix it. And then it will stay in yellow for ages until a, like an actual real person can watch the video. So meanwhile, the video is getting like a good few thousand views and I'm missing out on any money I could have been earning from those few th thousand views. And then after all that, I get an email from YouTube being like, good news, your video is suitable for advertisers. And it's like, <laughs> like every other single one that you've demonetized recently that has turned out to be good for advertisers. Do you think maybe at this point, maybe you just green light my channel considering you have been wrong every single time, but no, of course, because that would be logical and YouTube doesn't like logic. So yeah, Patreon is a super good tool to deal with that crap and it's just, yeah. So if anyone wants to swoop on over, check it out, see what it's all about, that would be super awesome and you can join our Discord chat. I'm a little bit absent from it right now because just like, as I say, I'm kind of like in a very down mood from the winter. So I just, I'm not talking to anyone, including like friends, family, like I'm just <laughs> hermit mode right now. But uh, I do pop in occasionally. And plus like I said, it's just a nice community of the people who watch this channel all like talking together and like giving each other advice and like showing each other their art. And it's all just very pleasant and I love it. So it's a good thing to check out anyway. The other type of video that I'm planning, I just, just swapped into something completely different there. But yeah, I just wanna say the other type of video I'm planning lots of at the minute is like lookbooks and like outfit of the day videos because I have like tons of ideas for those, but they're probably gonna have to wait until like a bit later next year when it starts to warm up again because so many of the outfits I wanna plan, you know, like they're cute and all, but then I'd go outside and it's super cold. So then I have to put on 10 other layers on the top and then that's the outfit ruined and I just look like a woolly meatball. So <laughs> I'm just gonna spend the winter months planning them and then hopefully get started on them in the spring, I think. Okay, that was my messy return to YouTube chatty, ranty, just blah, 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 blah. I look forward to seeing you in many, 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 many videos through December. I hope all of you are doing super well. I have definitely missed you, even though I like technically haven't really been gone. I sort of have, you know, but uh, I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to be seeing John recording videos again. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. So like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you've been up to recently. Did you have a good November? What are your plans for Christmas? Let me know. And as I said, check out the Patreon, very important. Remember we had that talk a few minutes ago? And uh, yeah, oh, and just turn on notifications so you don't miss all these fun videos I'm planning on bringing out, okay? Okay, I'll see you next video, lovelies, bye!